Hi everyone, welcome to our second workout video in 2017. This is going to be another corrective focus the workout video. And so this is going to be uh, what we call an active isolated stretching. An active isolated stretching is basically you would take a muscle through a full range of motion and you hold at the end of range of motion for a few one to two seconds and you go back to the at the beginning of the range of motion. So the theory is that you're going to work the opposing muscle that you want to stretch. So you basically uh, focus on what we call the reciprocal inhibition. That what that basically means is if when you work your bicep, you are going to stretch your tricep because tricep is uh, elbow extension while bicep is elbow flexion. So, so when you work the opposing muscle, the other muscle gets relaxed or lengthened. And that is the theory behind it. So now we have a better understanding of active isolated stretching. And then we should proceed. But actually, before I proceed, I do want to reckon, I do want to make sure that if you do have movement compensations, make sure you foam roll before you move on to active isolated stretching. But if you happen to be perfect, which most of us are not, you know, without posture, then definitely start with foam rolling before you proceed. And so now let's start stretching. So for this workout, we will need a stability ball and a tennis ball. You can also use a lacrosse ball or whichever small ball you have. And the tennis ball is excellent for working on our shoulders. Shoulders are very uh, common time muscles for all of us because our lifestyle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it behind our shoulder blade, around your shoulder blade area. We're gonna, and then we're gonna just kind of press against the wall. And then you should, and you can play around, see where it, the sore spot is. And it's just come up and down. Count up and down. You should feel a nice stretch. And this also kind of helps with your neck muscles as well. So we're gonna do, in general, about 10 to 15 on each side. So we're gonna do 10 on this side, then we're gonna move on to this one, making sure, and then again, you know, f uh, at least 10 to 15 reps. Okay, so that is the tennis ball. And another thing we can do on the wall is, one of the thing I think everybody should do is a wall slide. So you're gonna lie on here, you're gonna come down, and then the key is making sure your back of your hand is in contact with the wall. You're gonna come down as low as you can. You're gonna hold for a few seconds, come back up, hold for a few seconds, and come back up. So I, in general, most of us are recommended to do the wall slides about, I would say, once or twice a day for 10 to 15 reps and a couple of sets. You will see a great improvement in your shoulder mobility. And now we're gonna move on to the stability ball. So this for the stability ball, one thing I think is excellent with the stability ball, especially if we have asymmetrical, a lot of us have asymmetrical issues when it comes to squat, or just one side is more stronger than the other, especially without glutes, we can put the stability ball behind the, uh, in our lower back, in our lumbar spine area. And again, always making sure your feet is shoulder, uh, feet point straight. And I, I'm barefoot because most of us, we wear shoes, we're wearing socks, and then the, it's just a good idea when you're stretching to let your feet breathe. Given the floor is not nasty, obviously, so that whole will be ideal. So we're gonna have feet shoulder width apart, toe point straight. You're gonna have hands either here, or you can be on, on your hips and you're gonna come down into the squat until your, uh, your thighs are parallel to the floor. You're gonna kind of pause for a few seconds and come back up, go down, pause a few seconds and come back up, come down, pause a few seconds and come back up. So that is going to really help with your squat and help with your asymmetrical weight issues. And so again, you wanna do this about 10 to 15 reps and pause at the bottom for about one to two seconds. And so um, these are the things we're gonna do at the wall. And now we're gonna say goodbye to the tennis ball. We're gonna stay with this thing. So another thing the ten, I think the stability ball is excellent at is to stretch our lats, also our shoulders. And this is, again, another great isolate, isolated active stretching that we all should do. So you're basically going to have 
the bar in front of you. You're gonna be kind of in all fours in yoga. You're gonna be on your quadruple on all fours. You're gonna have this thing very importantly. You're gonna have your thumbs up to the sky and the other one's gonna just be on the floor. So you kind of be like all fours. Now you're gonna try to do a child's pose or a cat pose. So you're gonna, you're gonna kind of extend this arm forward and then shift your head back towards your, your toe or your, at your feet and you're going to kind of round your back and then you're going to flex your, flex your abs kind of like a child, kind of like, kind of like a cat pose or child's pose and you should feel a nice stretch here in your lats so in general, you want to do 10 to 15 on each side. You're going to do, you're going to extend, hold here for one to two seconds, come back up, extend, come back up. And again, you're going to move after you've done 10 to 15 reps, you're going to move on to this side. So again, you're going to, ex you want to have the thumbs up, extend here, move back. That's one. <laughs> so you're going to do this again. You know, you want to make sure both sides are even. And that's another excellent exercise that you can do with the stability bar. And so uh, now we're gonna say goodbye to the stability bar. We're gonna get on the mat and then we're gonna do active isolate stretching to our hamstrings. So the hamstring that we want to focus on today is our uh, outer hamstring. Cause in general, our inner hamstrings are tend to be underactive while our outer hamstring, which the four, the, I believe it's called bicep femoris, is our, is, it's the two hamstrings on the outer. Those are tend to be quite tight because our posture. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to lie on the floor flat. We're gonna, one leg at a time, we're gonna have this thing crawled up at 90 degree. So remember the quadricep, the way the quadricep function most is to knee extension, while the hamstrings function for the most part is knee flexion. And so we're going to start with the knee flex position and we're going to work our quadriceps. By working out the quadriceps, we're working our hamstrings. But then by, inter by rotate towards the other side, your, your, your medial, your central part of your body, you're targeting more on your outer hamstring. And you're going to use the opposite hand to support this leg. And you're going to extend as far as you can, squeeze your quadricep muscle. You will feel a nice stretching here. Pause for a few seconds and come back to 90 degree. Again, pause a few seconds, come back to 90 degree. Again, so you're gonna do this like ideally uh, 10 to 15 reps on each side. Then you move on to this, this side again, 90 degree angle, knee flexion, have the opposite hand to support this leg. You're gonna extend and back, extend, squeeze the quadricep and and you also want to do a, uh, what's, what we call um, dorsiflexion, like flex your feet on the top and then for two seconds and then come back. So again, you're going to do 10 to 15 reps on each leg. And now you're also kind of warming up your quadricep. And so you can do the same thing for, okay, we're going to stand up, back up. We're going to do one more muscle. We're going to basically do our inner thighs or our adductors. The adductors are typically a very, very, uh, what we say, tight muscles because we tend to have a vulgus knee or knee, you know, knee coming in when we do squats. So what you're going to do, you're just kind of going to come up here, coming forward, just pause for a few seconds. And again, side lunge, lean forward, pause a few seconds. And again, you're going to do 10 on each side. You know, step out, lean forward, feel a slight stretching here. Step out, then always make sure your toes are facing straight. And it's just gonna kind of lean to the, the feet that you step out and slightly lean forward. And so if you're, gonna, you're gonna do this 10 to 15 on each side. And by this point, uh, you should feel quite warm and quite ready to do your workout. And hopefully you guys find this uh, uh, stretching tutorial helpful. And just stay tuned, next, uh, next time when we show a workout, we're gonna show some helpful dynamic stretchings uh, for you know, people are ready to move on to more uh, advanced level of stretching. But obviously, if you have compensation, always start with foam rolling. And so, uh, uh, we also have recipe video, just in case you don't know. Make sure to click the like button, subscribe, share, comment, and see you guys next time. Bye, my friends.